Hey, hey, Swifties, gather around. Yeah. Yeah, gather around. Some Taylor Swift fans claim intense experience at live shows causes, quote, post-concert amnesia. No. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. No, dude. It's too much stimuli for your brain to process. Didn't have the energy to focus on memory formation. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Here's the thing. Super quick, though. It doesn't. Because how possibly could it? Brain was like, this is such good times. You don't want to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was just, it was such a blur, but we had yeah. a blast. Yeah. And that just means you had a blast. Hey, Swifties, gather around again. So I let y'all go early. <laughs> Everybody back gather in. Gather back around. Sorry, 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 sorry too sorry. early. You're drinking. <laughs> you had seven white claws. It wasn't amnesia, Heather. Yeah. Yeah. You got <laughs> hammered. Swifties went to the concert, got drunk, and had a great time. <laughs> Swifties go to show and have first seltzers. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> Let's absolutely get after it, babe. Dude, I'm stuck. I'm with the hot. This is the hottest lineup we ever had. Yeah, just hottest looking at the outline. This is already. Oh, dude, it's stacked. I can see it getting off the rails. It's gonna. Point. It's gonna. Mm -hmm. Let's, I was talking to Andrew East last night at the, yeah. at the baseball game. He's like, dude, could you imagine what your life would be without a podcast? I go, no. <laughs> Do you remember yeah. life pre pod? I was like, is this is that the most narcissistic thing ever? Yeah, like life you, BP. Yeah, like pod. The, yeah, get on. Like, uh, um, who was it that was talking about? the um we were watching joel osteen sermon nice on the way like with lydia uh is on the news and then right after the news at 10 o'clock is it joel osteen she opens for joel pretty i mean <laughs> I mean, you know what i hadn't thought about it like that kind but of. yeah uh and he was talking about um he goes i went into you know he does like a little anecdote at the at the top of the or he's talking about a sermons he kind of replays in his in his into his own personal life he goes i was at the mechanic and i said Hey, I need this new part for my car. And he said, we don't sell that part here. And he said, I said again, I'm, I got this part here. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, we don't sell that part here. And then he's like, no, I'm pretty sure. And he goes, the mechanic said to Joel Osteen, I got this part. Now the mechanic, yeah, Joel said to the mechanic, I got this part here. I'd like to order. He said, um, he goes, you know what? Um, that part's not here and don't ask again. Oh. And Joel Osteen thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask you again tomorrow. The next day, I'm going to call. I'm going to talk to your man. Like he was said, he was, the, the, the sermon was about patience or holding your tongue or something. And yeah. he, I go, oh, you're just doing what we do with the pot. Yeah. You just like have a, an interaction, right, during the day. <laughs> yeah. And you go, oh, God. Yeah. And you can't, you can't deal with it. And you're like, how am I going to? How do I weave this into how, a message? How am I going to write this wrong? Yes. I go, I'm just going to, uh, the things I see on the internet that I'm frustrated by, I go, I'm going to have to talk about this on the pod. Same thing. And then that's, that's Joel doing what we do. That's I go, I thing. do that. Yeah. I do that. <laughs> Whatever you, you, you're in the, you know, you're in the line at the fast food restaurant and this guy goes, mm, and then you go, I go, I'm going to talk about this on the pod. Yep. That's what Andrew, I think was saying, like all these things. And you're like, and I, hopefully we, we are that for other people as well. Yeah. That they go, yeah, these guys kind of try to, Put it, put some kind of context around it. Yeah, and at this point, we'll ask you just donate. Just go ahead yeah, and donate to the. Don yeah, that's it. <laughs> just, <laughs> same thing. Yeah, yeah, we're all the same. There's right a number here. on the bottom yeah. of the screen. Call in. My sister. I had dinner with my sister, and she said uh, we were at a uh, Edley's or something. And it's one of those places where you you stand in a line, order, and then go sit down, and yep. they have you they bring you your order with a little number flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she pressed zero on. She listens to the pod. She pressed zero on the tip. She goes, "I. It's so crazy." I happily and confidently press no tip nice. because of, I'm not saying we, because of us, but like because of. Because people have been talking about it. And we say, yes. I, and I don't either. And mm -hmm. there's people around. And when I started, when we started talking about it, it was a little, uh, you would when you were alone, but still when there are people around, I just go zero. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Cat's out of the bag. Everybody's zero. on the same page. And now I think everybody, but it, it's, it's strange that maybe there's a situation in your personal life, but you go, yeah, I got this whole group of people kind of that have my back. Mm -hmm. Or there's a like, well, I'm alone here at this kiosk, but there's a ton of people listening to this podcast that we're all kind of together in whatever way. They'll back me. And we're all going, no, we don't do it either. Yeah. And everybody emails in all the time. Yeah. The no, the no tipping emails have not stopped. Not stopped. Like that's They've probably one of the few topics that has just stayed a through line. People continue to say it yeah. and give examples. Like there's there's more emails than we can even bring really? the show. They're all about tipping. Yeah. 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 Which I think it, it, it like 
you do have a point of view, a perspective in life, and you would like to, I guess you're like influencing people, but like not to like buy your handbags, just with ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, I mean, we do have ads, but like yeah. you're like, you're like influencing <laughs> oh, yeah. them with like just with, take this if you want it. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, mm -hmm. where you know where we're charting. Where well, are we charting this week? Uh, well, Andrew failed the last because he didn't know where the Philippines was. Yeah, that was a tough, tough start. Nigeria, we're big in Nigeria. Uh, then we were in the Philippines. We're still charting over in the Philippines. A couple people, by the way, in the comments, I did see uh, sided with Andrew. They did? It pains me to say that. But yeah, so a couple people were like, <laughs> like, I didn't know either. Now I know. He's like, I don't think I want to be sided yeah, with yeah. on that. <laughs> I mean, I was wrong. I was the Philipp wrong. I didn't know. Yeah. How do you side with the wrong answer? Yeah. <laughs> They no, found a way. It, yeah. Well, I think it's because it seems, it seems he's like, oh, are you what the mix up in this country is? You're like, oh, are you Latino? Mm -hmm. Or you're like, are you like Mexican? You, no, Filipino. That's like, it's like kind of offensive because it's so far away. Yeah. But the skin colors look similar. Sure. I think that's the, right? Yeah. I don't want to say that wrong. No, yeah. I, I think they have similar traits. Fin, the skin color looks similar. Sure. Well, as of this week, we are charting in all podcasts, the 2,393rd podcast in China. Ooh. I know, wow. dude. I know. Hey, that's first a, of all, hey, congrats. Dude, hey, that's we great. Out here. Love that. There's love a lot that. going on between us and them these days. What do we know yeah, about China? Yeah, a lot China. going on. Andrew? I mean, what? Everything. We know all the things about China. They, they know gave, where it is. They, yeah, they, it's big. We know that they don't like us. No, uh, no, that's not true. Do they? Well, well their government definitely doesn't. Yeah, like they're us. they're. Wait, how did they get podcasts over there? I don't know either. How did we sneak through the border? Yeah, we snuck <laughs> through the the filter. Wait, I tried to. I, one time, I tried to look up the. We we talked about this before. The box office, the biggest movie in the world is like Avatar. It was like, all right, well here. Or everywhere. Mm. And I, was, I tried to look up the a local a movie theater in China. And, like, I couldn't get to it. Yeah. I, like, looked up movie theater. I put in, like, Beijing in my app. And then I put in, and then I tried to, like, you can't. It's a little. It's not a thing. No, nah, like, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. It's, they tightened it up. I don't think they have YouTube over there. Well, I think however much we think we may know about China here on the podcast, oh, yeah. they know way more they about know, us. They know, yeah. They're like, so, hey, they're like, they're over there they're like, hey, did you know the 2393rd <laughs> podcast? Net positive. Yeah, oh, we know. Yeah, 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 we know. Yeah, the 2392 before that are all yeah. Chinese, too. China? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> We're the first, the highest ranking English-speaking podcast yeah. in China ever. We made it through. Yeah. They allowed us. We got past the borders. Or an ally. Behind yeah. enemy lines. Uh, China, welcome aboard um <laughs> let me say <laughs> title of the title of the episode china, china welcome aboard. china welcome aboard what's uh it's uh ni hao is it is that hello hi i think ni hao i know that sure. from, i know that from rush hour <laughs> okay <laughs> they got a big wall over there they got a big wall. wall big wall uh, they make wall. they make your iphone they do they make the iphone mm -hmm. do they i don't know I don't know. This is getting on. This is getting on. I don't know. Uh, we owe them a lot of money. Yeah, we owe them a lot that. of money. I think there's oh TikTok. What, yeah. oh, what are we talking about? Yeah, TikTok. Yeah. I yeah. spend a lot of my time with the Chinese. Yeah, on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Un unknowingly. Yes, hours a day <laughs> with the Chinese. The Chinese just scrolling. You know what's uh, crazy about like all the like conspiracy theories and all like the like uh, nobody a human being is not that complex. Mm -hmm. It's like money power going to the beach and sex <laughs> food probably somewhere in there yeah, food, yeah no one no, <laughs> we're like we're not to be that complicated the chinese is like all right what we're gonna do is infiltrate i'm not saying this is a good pro china i guess but i'm not saying we're falling out of the charts as we yeah, speak or, right like, we're, yeah. we're plum, but i go nobody's nobody like the problem with like the the environment or like the global warming is like you're gonna be done mm -hmm. you're gonna be like, no one cares that much about 100 years from now because mm -hmm. you're not going to be here. Right. Some people kind of do. Sure. But to be like, what the Chinese did is they infiltrated our, like, Andrew Schultz has that bit. about yeah. It's not a bit. The Chinese on their algorithm is like a bunch of kids learning engineering and ours is dancing. So it's going to like slowly uh, I, I yeah it's it's eroding the social and they're gonna take, of America. take it they could take over us they could take us over now or they could just say hey you owe us all that money today now Come yeah on. and like, like what and what are they like they're getting information on like so they can advertise to us mm -hmm. 
And like, they, I don't, they don't want, like, I don't know, maybe like our president, a different president over here was is more favorable to them. I just, I, I see some of that stuff. I go, yeah, like the COVID, I go, they, we were just dumb. <laughs> there wasn't, there wasn't a, a, hey, here's what we're going to do to like mind control for the Republican. I go, no one, they just were scared to lose power. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to lose power. So they're like, we got to put sand in the, on the skate park in like LA or whatever, <laughs> like, the, like on the skate, because you're like, and you can't go to the beach because everyone was so scared mm -hmm. and they were operating out of fear and they are in positions of power and they didn't want to lose them. Right. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. And we didn't know a lot about it. Mm -hmm. And people made some right choices. People made some wrong choices. Yeah, but you can't think like that, dude. It's too logical. You got to yeah, think yeah, more yeah. conspiratorial yeah, because yeah. that's just way more fun. Yeah, it so is you fun. Gotta, it is fun. <laughs> you got to just tumble down that rabbit hole. I like, right now yeah, it, well, you know, the, the, um, like schizophrenia and like some of the, uh, no, what are you Sorry, I'm just laughing. What's Andrew laughing laugh right now? My bad. <laughs> no, it's like one of the, one of the big, like one of the side effects or not side of, or like one of the symptoms is like extreme paranoia. Yeah. So like, it's fun to like dabble around in there, but you know, yeah. the conspiracy too far guy. Yes. Like the bunker on the side of the mountain guy. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. If the government wanted to take your property, it's a wrap. Yeah. You're one guy. Yeah. I don't care if you have a steel plated dug into the side of a mountain, food rations, and I was going to say IEDs. They're not IEDs. The mm -hmm. AUD. What are the uh, meal things? Meal things? The meal, they're like uh, people in the prison. Not people. People in the, uh, yeah, IED, the military. An IED is a bomb. Meal the uh, PUI or something like that. What is it called? Oh, Acronym. Meal. MREs. MRE. Yeah, yeah. What did I say? IED. IED. Yeah. MRE. The, yeah, that's like a during during Ready the eat. Yeah, so you like have them in your like you're gonna have a bunch of water in a in a fifty gallon drum, some MREs and some guns. Yeah, hey, that'll dude. that'll hold them off. Yeah. Hey, go to your kid's <laughs> soccer game, dude. Like, go to like help your daughter with her like proposal for the school tomorrow. Yeah. Help her daughter with her project. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little bit much. Oh, speaking of, dude, you came out to the show. I did. Alex headed up to old Louisville. Thanks for having me, man. It was yeah. great. Well, I, he said that's the closest one to hear, and you're like, I'm gonna come through. See what it's all about. Nice easy drive up. See what it's all about. Stayed the night. It was yeah. great. Don't get up. Don't go on Louisville. Dude. 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 <laughs> don't get me going. Alex man. is taking heat. Alex is taking a lot of heat on the internet for his takes on Denver, Colorado. It's gotten uh, a it's, lot of traction. It's now gotten outside of our fan base. Yeah. It's gotten outside. And it's not good. No, it's and not. I used to live there and I would defend it if I if I had a would you? I would no, if I if I had information to oh, defend yeah, it. Yeah. If I had like if I could. <laughs> if I had, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I heard it if all. If I had good points, I, I would, would argue that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh no, Louisville was great. I had a great I, yeah, I had a oh, great yeah. time there. We were there for a couple of days. Um it's it's got a pulse. You stayed a couple of days? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Saturday, Sunday. Oh, good for you. Nice. Uh, yeah. There's there's a pulse. That was yeah, what I came away with. Is like there's life here, there's stuff going on here. There there's restaurants, the right there's direction. bars, there's oh, events yeah. going on. There was a great comedy show that I drop in great on. Great comedy show. Yep, Dude, yeah. really good show. Thank you, man. Really cool. Yeah. And like I've heard you talk about you, you got to see the live show. You got to yeah. see the live show. It's everybody. Show. Yeah. You're right. And yeah. it's not just because of you just on stage. Yeah. There's more to it, and I'll leave it there. I don't want to spoil things. Oh, yeah. But there's a yeah. lot more to it that yeah. you don't get to see unless you go. So go is I mean, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, there's it's a, awesome. yeah, it's it's a there's it's a obviously Derek and Caleb who have both been in here mm -hmm. on the pod and then live. The, the thing about is you can tell what like you said there's a pulse mm -hmm. like to Derek and first of all Caleb goes out does ten minutes and I know his like like keywords of his, that see what's working. Yep, for him. So you get every city. I go Louisville, Kentucky, Southern. All right, I kind of got not big metropolitan, but also not Lexington. It's like a city. Mm -hmm. And then he's making jokes. And then I go, all right, got it. I'm kind of on my notes. I'm listening on the intercom in the green room. Nice. And then Derek goes out, and I'm kind of, all right, got it. And then I kind of had the general vibe of where we're going. And then you could see it getting the crowd energizing around certain topics. Yep. And then not, which crazy is live, it's so much more, you're just sitting there like, because we had, I, I remember the joke about the airport missed. Uh, the, we did it at the end. The all, TSA thing? Or? No, we did it at the end where all three of us are on, or like, air, it's like a, 
it's like a why is it an international airport? Yes. And everybody goes FedEx. Yeah. Or or UPS or something. Yeah, they like had an answer for it immediately. Yeah. Then I go, oh, oh, the, it's like live. I go, yeah. that's the crazy and my specials the same. I go, this is live. Yeah. Like we're not. It's like going to a baseball game, like you watch the highlights, you go, I already know. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm at this game. Yeah. And it's like two outs in the bottom of the night. You're like sitting there like. I can't believe I'm witnessing this. Yeah. That's what you, that's, yeah, I don't want to put words in your mouth. No, it, like that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's a blast. Yeah. And, that, and the live show is and always has show, has always been uh, the best product that I think that John Christ has to offer. It's awesome. The pod's man. great, though. Yeah. 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 It's, but I mean, it's on, it, is your comedy on Chinese charts? Oh, it should be. You oh, know? yeah. Like, I got to look probably yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> uh, not on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the live show, uh, we got some dates coming up. We're coming to, let's see, where are we going this weekend? Uh, Salt Lake City, two shows, and Colorado Springs. And then the next weekend, the 23rd and 24th and 25th, Sacramento, Fresno, Thousand Oaks. And then we're going to Las Vegas, San Diego, Anaheim. And the tour wraps up uh, in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And then September, October, November, December. Oh, we going through Canada. We're going, we're going everywhere, bro. We're going through the South, Atlanta, Birmingham, Springfield. We're going everywhere. Yeah, the yeah. fall run looks good. We're going to shut the engines down for like uh, July and August. Cool. And then we're coming back on. Summer break. Fire, baby. Love it. Oh, yeah. This week's episode brought to you by, we got a new sponsor, baby. Yes. Good Ranchers. Love it. Is on the team. Ladies and gentlemen, Good Ranchers is, uh, let me just say this. Um, here's how it works somebody, somebody says they want to advertise, right? Yep. They send us whatever they have. Right. Okay. So it's a, uh, uh, Henson in this case is a shaving or manscaped or whoever we've had around for forever. Uh, they, they send me, Good Rancher sends me a box of meat. Yeah. And dude, as a guy that is a guy, mm. this is it. As a guy that's a guy, a absolutely. Guy, you open this thing, it's like on dry ice. Yes. And it's got a bunch of, and you open this, it's just like the thickest, I got mine, I don't know what mine is, but I mean. I it's on dry have, ice, so it's like it's like a magic trick almost. Oh yeah, like you, you open it up, it's like, yeah, instead of, it pull, yeah, you, I, you pull up. Yeah, you pull a pig out, I guess, but it's dead. Sure. Come <laughs> on. That's not, dude. Is why? there a rabbit? Is there a yeah, rabbit? No, I, uh, no, there's no rabbit. I was going to say rabbit, but yeah. I mean, there's a this fat slices of bacon, uh, chicken, steak, like all the meat, all the meat. Yeah. And we cooked, I've had tacos with it. Uh, we had a piece of steak. Lydia cooked us two pieces of steak. I'm telling you. And Lydia, how do I say this? How do I say this without what Lydia's family and friends listen and they always fact check me if I say something incorrect. Lydia, cooking meat is not on the top of her list. Okay. Is that fair to say? Sure. <laughs> All right. I, I just, she's a good cook. Sure. But like, she, I, I, don't, I don't cook steak either. Mm -hmm. I'm not allowed. Yeah. So I, I, we cook it in the uh, oven or skillet or I don't have a grill because mm -hmm. it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's not allowed from HOA. Okay. So, but I can put it on the, the bacon on the front. But so anyway, she cooked this piece of steak and if you never cook like don't start out with that expensive piece of meat yeah no don't do that she goes and she goes i cooked the steak come over for dinner and i go this is un this is the most unbelievable piece of meat i've ever had and she goes, I go what did you put on this she goes butter whoa the, i know i and i don't want to be like overly ab about about like good but this meat is unbelievable wow the chicken tastes like it's like that has the consistency of like not bubble gum but it's like oh i think i cooked it wrong and then i go oh i cooked it right it's different chicken. Oh, interesting. It's different chicken than the chicken you get at the store. It's better. It's just yeah. better. Yeah, it's just higher meat. quality. 100% American. Is that correct? Yes, 100% American. Good Ranchers has never and will never source meat from outside of the United States. They nope. are committed to sourcing the best quality in America and bringing it to your door in every box. Oh, yeah. And I think there's a... Uh, there's a uh, a holiday coming up for men, I believe. Yes, I believe it's Father's Let's Day. Let's go. Who do, hey, what is it? What's dad's like? Golfing can't do that anymore because right? it's bought by Liv. Yep. So yep. They, they, they can't have good, can't have go If you want to support the Saudis, go buy your, your golf stuff yeah. for your husband. This is getting way off track. But listen, every dad likes to grill. He already has the fork and spoon or whatever mm -hmm. that you got him last year. Right. Get him a box, bro, from Good Ranchers. 30% off the best Father's Day gift you can give at goodranchers.com with code 
net positive. And this price lock guarantee that they have, you can lock in your price for two full years with a subscription to Good Ranchers. So for 24 months, your price is guaranteed not to go up. So imagine if you could have locked in your price two years ago, you would have saved hundreds on all the meat you buy. So get in now, basically, is what they're saying, because- Good Ranchers. You know, inflation happens and stuff. Top quality meats, baby. Look yeah. at that. It said they donate, to, they donate, we donate over a hundred, a million meals to Americans in need. Yeah, Good Ranchers donates 10 meals for these every box These are our people right here. Bro, these are our people. This is good stuff. Man. Oh, yeah. Really good stuff. So get 30% off that Father's Day gift at GoodRanchers.com. Calm, and I'll be eating that hey, positive. You be eating alongside us. We'll be eating the same bacon, baby. Dude, I, I can't wait to get my hands on this. Oh, yeah. That's it right there, baby. Good ranchers. Go check them out. All right. A lot going on in the news this week. Yeah. Top. Uh, let's get to the uh, – a, a lot of people submitted the um, – um, as predicted, a lot of people had a lot of thoughts and um, support and against Republican or Democrat. Yes. One that's of it. our most engaged with segments yet. And that's what happens every time. Yeah. I go, dude, if it uh, – it's just that we never we didn't plan that. No, it was just funny. I don't know how we got on that. Yeah, do you remember? We were talking about uh, we were talking about Memorial Day weekend. Oh yeah. Oh, you. I went to the Soho. House. And that, yeah, yeah, we went to yeah, very different, yeah. <laughs> very different Memorial Day. Republican days. or Democrat? Yeah. But we had a lot of user submitted uh, themes. Yeah. yeah. And we're we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna uh, debate them. Should we? Yeah. Let's All run right. through. Let's run through a list. Let's so this is like this is a list that we've compiled from conversations we saw people having in comment sections yeah. and in emails with us and all and you that. pick out the good ones and we'll give it a shot all right here we go so no, no. republican or democrat is all what right. we're doing yeah okay republican or democrat a couch <laughs> dude this is gonna just get inflammatory <laughs> on either side <laughs> i mean you want to say that generally if i mean i was gonna say like hard work is republican but that's not true <laughs> that's not true that's not true. I was going to say it, but I didn't say it. So right. I said I didn't say you it. You didn't I say it. I right. didn't say it. If you were to have said that. Like, I would tough. say, like, the the kind of work they do in country songs is Republican. Okay. So, like, tech hard work, it might not, it's not getting you, it's not bailing hay. Any, any of the work they do in an FGL song is hard work. Right. The sun on your neck. Yep. Uh, bailing, uh, tractor, farming, any type of that. Mm -hmm. So I would say the opposite of that is sitting on the couch. Mm. So I would say a couch would be Democrat. Okay. I, you can also be productive on a couch. Extremely. And that's not, a couch is not for sleep. Right. A couch is for relaxing during work hours. Is okay. it? I mean, you could definitely relax on it after work hours too, but I, I would probably say you can't just isolate the couch. It depends on what else is going on What's near the couch. What's going on in the couch. Primarily probably a, across from it's probably a TV yeah. and what is on the TV. I oh, think yeah, that yeah, probably yeah, yeah, dictates yeah, yeah. whether the couch leans left or right. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because I would think a couch is like during the day when you're on like disability or unemployment, mm -hmm. you're watch, you're on the couch. A couch potato Ooh, yeah. is not. All right, yeah, there we are. We're getting somewhere. And our potatoes left or right? I think potatoes then it comes down to that. Are Idaho, Idaho's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but potatoes are maybe what they've done to potatoes. Of the, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a little bit of a stretch. I would say if we had to choose, a couch is gonna be is gonna be left. I would agree with that. I would say left. All right. Okay. Next. Next. Uh, Tesla, the car. Oh, a lot of people submitted that because mm -hmm. that, that I know what that because it's it's it, it was one thing and now it's the other. Mm. I think right. It's an interesting one still. I think. Yeah, it is because because it was obviously very a very progressive vehicle. Yeah, I would say electric vehicles in general are Democrat. Yep. Is that fair to say more environmentally friendly? I mean, they're not because the batteries they're gonna drop them in the ocean, but they think they are. So come on, John, unnecessary. <laughs> Do you have one? I don't have one. I don't have one either. I would, I've, I've I would agree. Into, yeah, I would uh, agree with you though. I yeah. think I think generally they started out as a left leaning. And thing. and look at me because mm -hmm. it was the, before that it was the Prius. Yes, remember that. Yes, remember the Prius. The Tesla is the cool Prius. Is the Prius for rich people? Nice. Yeah. Well, but it's not even. You don't have to be that rich to get. A no, Tesla. they have that Tesla. That, very affordable. That cheap one. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. So I would say it used to be, but now, I mean, people aren't. The thing about like canceling and boycotting and all that stuff. He's like, all right. They were like, I don't agree with Elon Musk. I'm like, all right, we'll trade in your Tesla. And that's what we said last week. Mm -hmm. Somebody on Twitter goes, I'm done with Chick-fil-A. I go, you're not. Yeah. You're not. You're not. Mm -hmm. I'm done with Target. You're not. Now, if they, if they, if you're, you're not, I'm done with American Airlines because the way they treat it, but you're not. Mm -hmm. If next week they're like, it's that flight's cheaper. That's what I'm saying. Everything about you're just you, people want money and power and mm -hmm. food. And, so what? So where's Tesla now? To go to Myrtle Beach, I would say Tesla's still on the left. I would agree. 
Yeah, I think it's still there. It's still the number one car of Silicon Valley. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, still yeah, that yeah, car. Yeah. And it's, it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so I, and, I would say Tesla's still left. And, I mean, Elon Musk is, I think Elon Musk is is kind of similar to, like, a Trump guy. That he was like, uh, like, this is where kind of the support is, or, like, the... But Trump is like wasn't really like a Republican. You're saying he's just feeding his base. Type, I mean, like he's no, just doubling I, down. He, on... uh, I think he. But the things that he's saying, he's like I think that it was it, it like the uh, the gender and the race stuff swung so far over here mm-hmm. that he's like, all right, I'm not that far. And then he kind of, and then they they kind of he was pushed over to the other side. Yeah. But he's like just a free speech guy. Yeah. But most of the stuff he says on Twitter is right. But right. I would right say, meaning correct or right meaning uh, rightly. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to help you yeah, out, yeah. dude. <laughs> uh, but Tesla, I would still say, is left. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Okay, what about uh, glasses? What are they for? Um, glasses seeing, to drink? Seeing, seeing glasses. Glass. Uh, Spectacles. Left. Okay. Yeah, left, 100%. Def- like, why so definite? Uh, because that's just like a, per- a girl with like pink hair and bangs. Okay. It's like working at a coffee shop and like telling you that you're like doing wrong on the environment. <laughs> okay. Is, I, I, think glasses, I think glasses are left because they, I think the typical nerdy stereotype falls left. Oh, yeah. And left. I think yeah. if at any point, like even, if, yeah, at any point if you have to do this. Oh, left. Oh, left. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're voting for you're Bernie Sanders. Like, yeah, for I'm sure. pushing. Oh, no, he's listening. Left. I'm yeah, pushing yeah, 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 glasses yeah. up. That's left. That's 100% left. Yeah. Yeah, because if you get in the kid, yeah, if going back to high school, mm-hmm. the kid doing this in our class yep. comes to be, and the the uh, captain of the football team is a Republican. Yeah, he's wearing contacts. Oh, yeah, he's getting LASIK. Yeah. Yeah, LASIK. Yeah. LASIK, yeah. I got to be right. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. How about, um, how about jogging? Mm. Is jogging Republican or Democrat? Mm. I think this one's, this one's tough. Because I think I would immediately say, well, what are they wearing? Yeah. Because if I tell you I'm jogging, but then I also tell you I'm wearing a tactical weighted vest and camo oh, yeah, shorts you're, 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 yeah. and aviators. You're a Republican. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah. And if you're jogging. And I say I'm wearing some and what's, five inch inseam Nike shorts. Oh, yeah. And some ASICs on my feet. And what city? Yeah. And I'm, yeah. I'm ASICs Port- is Portland Democrat? For sure. ASICs? I, I think ASICs is Democrat. Left? Oh, yeah. 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 I think jogging, <laughs> jogging. But you can also jog on a treadmill. I was gonna say jogging to me is like suburbs after work. You're not like you're not competing, mm-hmm. but you're not. You need to just get a little loose. Okay. Yeah, it's like a stress relief. Okay. But I don't. But jogging, if you, I, I don't think of jogging as like in the it, at the uh, whatever that gym is. What what's the gym that everybody loves in uh, New York in L. A. It's like very. Yeah, Equinox. Equinox. Yeah, that I don't consider that jogging. You're going to work out. You're working yeah. out. Even if you're jogging on a treadmill, you're working out. Yeah. So jogging to me is in a neighborhood in the suburbs. Okay. That's jogging. What are the suburbs? Right. Suburbs are right. Right? Are you saying right? Oh, I'm saying I'm sorry. I'm saying correct. Yeah. The suburbs are now the suburbs are lean right. The suburbs lean right. The middle yes, class yes, is yes, right. Yes, yes, right? yes. Agreed. Yeah. Because yeah, okay, in the city, yeah. in the oh, cities, yeah. it's going to be left for sure. <laughs> cities are so oh, cities, cities in are general left. are left. Oh, cities are left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Suburbs and country, country's right. Yes. Yeah, but that's not even debatable. Right. The country is right. So suburbs, there's probably a little bit of a blend there. It's yeah. like brackish water. Like it's it's part salt water, part oh, fresh water. Yeah, that's like kind of merging what the together. Are. That's yeah. what jogging is. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. What about uh, putting away your grocery cart at like in the parking lot after you're done with it <laughs> instead of versus just leaving it in the spot? <laughs> I was the only thing. I'd say I think parking n- incorrectly is right. Parking your vehicle, yeah, is a rep- wrong is a Republican thing. Yes, okay. I think that's a Repo- that's a that's a that's like a uneducated and slash. Uh, this is wild. <laughs> this is- <laughs> Not uneducated. That's like a, tr- a truck. Sure I don't know. Republicans yeah. are not uneducated. No. Republicans are not uneducated. The stereotype We're going would be, by stereotypes, though. Yeah. Not graduating. Under, for, I'll be honest with you. Not graduating high school is Republican. Okay. It is. Okay. It is. I think I can go with that. Uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let me think. <laughs> I wish you just stop this bit. But I'm saying, I'm thinking about in the, I'm thinking about like a, a, a Daytona, mm-hmm. like NASCAR, Talladega type 
jean shorts, cut off t shirt. Yeah. Not graduated high school. What do I need maths for? Yeah. What do I don't I, need maths. Yeah, yeah. That's that's Republican. Right. Yeah. Which one are we talking about? Putting away grocery carts. Putting away the grocery cart. Yeah. So putting away the grocery cart. So you loaded up your groceries. What's getting groceries? That's everybody. Everybody has to eat. Yeah. That's we everyone. can't take a side on yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> You could go by grocery store if you wanted to. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole Foods that. is left. Mm-hmm. Trader Joe's probably left. Left. Uh, I frequent both, by the way. Kroger is right. Winn Dixie is right. Piggly Wiggly is right. Yeah, yeah. Aldi is right. Is it? You know Aldi? Yeah. Is it? Oh, it could be left. I don't Dang, know. I just dude. love how you can look at something <laughs> and go left or right. Yeah, like, you I just know what I mean. I think not putting you away your grocery cart is is. Um, Left. Okay, I would go right. All right, what's your... Well, I think it's a right thing. Yeah. In the same way that you argued for the parking. Mm-hmm. No, i just leave this here. Someone else will get it. Yeah. So that's somebody's job. I, oh, They'll yeah. take care yeah. of that. It's somebody's Someone's job. Someone's getting paid to do right, that. Right, that's a right thing. Mm-hmm. Like, not... like not. Yeah, somebody... This is somebody's job. Yeah. That's a right thing. And I'm doing a character right now, by the way. I put yeah. away my carts. I'm but not, that's but, yeah, somebody yeah, is absolutely... And that's, it's not us. It's somebody's not a, absolutely yeah. going, that's yeah. somebody's job. They're getting paid to do that. Yeah. I'm going to leave this here. They'll take care of it. That's a good point. I'm going to move right. Yeah, I think point. it's a I think it's a Republican thing. All right, let's do one more. What about um, what about purebred dogs? <laughs> and again, these are all crowdsourced. Like this is all you guys talking yeah, about. Yeah, this. Yeah, these yes, are amazing. Yeah, this that's left. That's left. Has to be. How come? Because if you're like right, is like a the dog is walking around in the neighborhood and it's in your yard for three days. That's how you get a dog. <laughs> People on the right. And they don't care. People on the right don't care about it as, as, as um, positioning or, or, or appearances as much as people on the left. Uh, be looking good oh, instead okay. of actually being good. Okay, interesting. Yeah, they're like, I don't know. We just got this. We bought this at PetSmart, and we don't know what they ethic, sure. ethically, what they do back there. Yeah. The, the left is very image conscious, mm-hmm. and they want to, because purebred. Well, wouldn't it? they adopt then? Oh, wait, what's the, what's the. I'm saying, wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't a Democrat adopt a sheltered? Yeah, rescue. A yeah, Democrat rescue. rescue. And yeah. this is just a purebred bought? Purebred dog. Oh, so you can't, you can't rescue a purebred? I guess you could. I guess you could, yeah. It's like the Kentucky Derby. I guess dogs, when I think of like, right? uh, yeah, when I think of yeah, purebred, yeah, yeah. I think you know, like they're you're not, going to a breeder, you're paying them a lot of money. Well, they're, that's Republican. They're breeding these that's dogs. Republican. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Especially because like, what's more American than like a purebred golden? Oh, drink. also, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then you can't, you, like, who rescued who, who rescued who, mm-hmm. all that. Go to the, don't go to the breeder. Bumper go, stickers. Yeah, go to the uh, Humane Society. Yeah. Re- that's left. Yeah. Pure yeah. red dogs, 100% right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we got it. Oh, we solved it. What's the other one? The reading the newspaper? Yeah. <laughs> reading the newspaper? Well, news. All right, it's not news, though. It's reading, specifically reading the newspaper. Uh, and that would be uh, the opposite of progressive. Reading? So it has to be. No, the newspaper. The newspaper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got crossed there. Progressive is left, mm-hmm. right? So traditional would be right. Mm. Reading the newspaper, I don't care. I get my... But you, could, the, you could also be like yeah, hipster. Newspapers. You could be hipster and be oh, like... Oh, yeah. Dude. I like to curl up on my couch with my, you know... Glasses. My glasses Come on, and my dude. sweater and I, oh, my yeah. coffee that oh, I make myself yeah. every morning. And the then newspaper. I sit down and read the newspaper like a real like real intellectual. Oh yeah. Like they're like So that could go Democrat, I think. Somebody too. on the bus in Manhattan reading a newspaper is a Democrat. Yeah. And I think the net Definitely. positive here is everybody does everything. That's what we're, that's everybody what we're, does everything. Everything yeah. could go either way yeah. here. And also we 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 don't hold strictly to any of those, by no, the way. No. Yeah. Depending on the day, I'll switch up all of these. I'll switch up all of them, yeah. baby. Uh you want to get to the news? Let's hit some news. Let's get to the Which news. Which one do you want to hit? Wait, first? I got something to show you. Okay, yeah. Um yeah, let me do this right now. Let's do it. I guess. All right. So pull up. I'm, I just want to do it because I'm eager. John's all been right. teasing this since he walked into the studio this and morning. And I said, I have dude, no idea what I said, is. dude, I'm not going to. What did I say? I'm not going to send it to you, right? You said, yeah, you said, wait until we get on there and then I'll send it to you and then you can react. Yeah. All right. So I don't want right, to. If so it has pull anything up, to do with Denver, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, nope. Pull up the uh, thing I sent you. Okay. You sent me. I sent you one of my clips from clip. your stand up. Yep. Do you want me to play it? Yeah, play okay. it. Get this pulled up. My bad. Yeah, we go. this is a piece of this is from my stand up posted like a month ago. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad. I'm having difficulties. No, you good. My bad. That was I. I sprung that on you. All right. This Here is a piece go. of my stand up I posted. I want to say. Oh, oh, so parents are just making stuff up, and you guys are like, "Yeah, bro." Oh, we got to go back to start. My parents are lying to me the whole. 
It's about parents. Uh, oh, so parents are just making stuff up. You guys are like, oh, maybe this is yeah, done. Yeah, bro. No, hold on. If my parents are lying to me the whole, you ever swallow a piece of gum? How long does it stay in your stomach? That's not true. <laughs> okay, stop. That's it. So I go, how long does a piece of gum stay in your stomach? Seven years. Yep. All right. Go to the link I just sent you. <laughs> Did you text it to me? Yep. I texted net positive. Bro. No way. Bro, dude. dude. No way, bro. dude. I'm, I'm that's what right I'm now, saying. Too. Oh, my goodness. The sign guy. No way. I mean, he has to. So you posted that now stand-up he's just clip. Messing, he's messing with us. You posted that clip from your stand-up five weeks ago. Yeah. This was posted 16 and it, hours he has, ago. He has a swear word in it. Yeah. Yeah. He says, I just, just passed the gum I swallowed seven years ago. There's no Bro, way. He's listening, dude. This guy, that, dude, now he's messing with us. That's you know, so random. That is, there's no way. Whoa, dude. Somebody sent it to me. They go, I had to send this to you. Yeah, this was 16 hours ago. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I he's just, listening. Past the gum I swallowed seven years ago. You know how like he's paying attention. All right. You know how like there in all the movies there's like a the, he's like the murderer mm -hmm. and then there's like the FBI guys and they're trying to figure and then now he's just like he knows that they know he's but he's not off. letting on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he Do you is. Think we need to like you think we need to work out like a, a blink twice if you're watching type thing. <laughs> yeah. If he pu puts that up. Yeah. He's like he's like it's like it's like a. a Somebody that's like on the shore and there's like a boat and they're like putting up signals. And like, I know he knows that we're here. He has to. He has to. And I don't even know what his name is. Dude with a sign. Dude with a sign. But there's like, I also looked up like uh, bro with a sign. And that's like a different one. I was like, where can I find the? Because the guy that's, is that what the guy looks like? That's him. Yeah. Is he? That's him. Mm -hmm. And he must live in New York, right? Yeah, I believe so. And it must have, he got to get his buddy. He must have to get his buddy to. Uh, to take the pigs. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, he's funny. I like him. And I go on to read the book he, he brought on vacation. Very, very funny. That's a good one. That's very funny. Yeah. Where is he? What city does he live in? I think he's, I think it's New York. This is like one of those things that like. He's been doing this for years, he? man. Yeah. Years. How many followers does he have? Lots. 7.9 right? mil. That's so, that's so, that's the best. When you just find a thing and you go, I'm just going to do this. Just ride this thing out. And you should. Gosh, dude. No movie needs to be three hours long. True. <laughs> True. Dang. I, I, that, yeah. Call your grandparents. We like the guy. Call your grandparents is kind of like, yeah, we like your parents. Are we, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> a little no, stretch no, no. there. <laughs> I love it, dude. I just, somebody sent that in. I go, dude, I got to so I got to have Alex. That, but the, what, what we do on this podcast, different than TikTok, these are real blind reacts. Yeah. Every, anyone blind reacting to anything, you're not. No, they're not. No, you're not. Mm -mm. Yeah. That is, I wanted to show you that because that's got freaking awesome. Dude. That's so funny, yeah. man. Let's get to the news. You want to get, I get that. Uh, um, <laughs> what do you want to hit first? Taylor Swift. Okay. <laughs> I sent you this too. Yes. Taylor, you want to read John it? sent me this one. And all I've read so far is the headline. So I'll be blind reacting to this Taylor as well. Swift. Already, Taylor Swift. Already having a hard time. Okay. Somebody sent me, uh, I saw a, uh, um, uh, a TikTok about somebody that was uh, gay that hated pride month mm -hmm. hated it she goes because i'm gay that it's not it's not my personality mm -hmm. that's just who i am that's not my that's not my identity mm -hmm. and i was like oh but the, the taylor swift fans make me laugh in a way that like they are that's their personality yes taylor swift is is their personality they are a swifty yes yeah and they like that's how they dress that's what like what the, like Taylor Swift? That's that's everything to that. Like mm -hmm. I can go to the show, yeah, and love the show, yeah. It's not become your person. Every anything that becomes anyone's personality becomes a nightmare. Yes, agreed. All right, All right, right so headline. here's the headline: Some Taylor Swift fans claim intense experience at live shows causes quote post concert amnesia. No, it doesn't. Here's the thing: super quick though, <laughs> super quick. It doesn't. It does. Cause how possibly could it? That's like that. What? That's like. <laughs> That's like the guy, the guy that said he can't for, remember people. Yeah, yeah, classic. Oh, you was, mean oh, Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt, yeah, Brad Pitt. <laughs> that guy. Oh yeah, the guy that can't remember people. Yeah, you know, that can't guy. remember people's faces. Yeah. All right, read some of the read some of the articles. Okay, as Taylor Swift tours across the country, some fans are claiming they have post concert amnesia, saying they have trouble remembering the show. Mm. Oh boy, because you were probably posting the whole thing on your Snapchat story. But anyways, yeah. science is hey, saying yeah, that... go super quick. Go back and look at your Instagram <laughs> yeah. history, and that's the you have the whole show on there. <laughs> 
Scientists say the condition. Oh, great. Scientists are entertaining. Oh, it. yeah. Here they the say scientists. the condition stems from sensory overload. Mm -hmm. The concert overall exceeded, there's a quote, the concert overall exceeded every expectation that you could have imagined, said Jenna, who attended a show that was part of the pop stars sold out Eras tour. Okay. It's just overwhelming in the best way. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Some Swifties have taken to social media saying the experience was so spectacular that they have shaken off. <laughs> nice. Some memories of the show. Come on, what are well, we so doing? Immediately, we know this is written by a Swifty oh, to yeah, say yeah, shake yeah, it yeah. off. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> bias. This needs to be fact checked immediately. Uh, and this, all right. So here's a quote from a doctor. It's okay. actually a neurologic phenomenon mm. that can happen in any heightened emotional state. Said mm. Dr. Leah Kroll, a neurologist at Temple University. Okay. As Taylor Swift fans are going to the concert, there's so much to be excited about. There's so much stimuli to process for the brain, and that can actually get in the way of forming and storing memories of that concert experience. Mm. Interesting. She's spoken with people who had similar experience. That was too good to be true. I definitely don't remember that. I've never <laughs> thought that. I've never thought that in my life. Oh, that was too good to be true. I definitely don't remember it. Never thought that. Every amazing thing has ever happened to me. I remember everything. I remember all of it. It's not, to have something like post concert amnesia, it's really not such a bad thing. Crow says, "What it means is that your brain was so present in the moment." Oh, stop! Come on, dude! dude. Stop! Dude. Spoken like a true Swifty. Yeah. She's like, and I, I interviewed her while I was at the concert next to her yeah. in the front row. Yeah, yeah. It's too much of stimuli for your brain to process. Didn't enter, didn't have the energy to focus on memory formation. <laughs> no, dude. No. No. No, dude. No. Hey, 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 Swifties, gather around. Yeah. Yeah, gather around. All hands in. Everybody in. Everybody in. Yep. No. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. No, dude. No. God. This is probably like that feeling people talk about when they go, dude, it was just, it was such a blur, but we had yeah. a blast. Yeah. And that just means. You had a blast. Yeah. You still remember it. That means you had a blast. It's also, and also like, it's like a three hour show, isn't it? Yeah. So that's why it's hard to remember too. It's I, three hours. And you were, it also, like if I go to the, I went to the Hawks game when they played the Celtics in game six. Yeah. Or like, I remember going, I remember sitting down. I remember getting the hot dog. I remember where I sat. I remember John Gray was next to me. I remember uh, Trey Young, Trey Young getting into it with the refs. And I remember we lost. Yep. I remember. Yeah. What? Tell me about the Taylor Swift show. Yeah, you don't remember every. Yeah, what, you, every you couldn't recite back every play by play for the What's entire the song game list. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, she played uh, "Slam His Green Door" or whatever, and then we went home. <laughs> <laughs> our song. That's what. Yeah, "Slam His Green Door." Our song. She played our song, and she played. Uh, is that Taylor Swift? Our song is a "Slam His Green Door." Staying out late. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. You're right. Tapping yeah, you're on right. your window. You're right. That's OG too. When we're all alone and you talk real slow. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I know that song. <laughs> <laughs> because it's late and your mama don't know. I didn't even remember that was her. Am I suffering from amnesia? Oh, you might be, dude. The eras that suffer from amnesia. That's the way. And also, hey, hey, Swifties, gather around again. So I let y'all go early. Everybody back Gather in. Gather back around. Sorry, 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 sorry too sorry, early. Sorry. I just, I let, I let you back out on the court. Another timeout. Yeah, Come yeah, back yeah. in. Timeout, timeout. Ah, uh, you're drinking. <laughs> you had seven white claws, dude. Did, we, you, what? Gosh. I, I promise, this is not even a rant. This is a rant. It's I a talk, rant. I talk about this in my show. Women will literally do, and I talk about this in my show as a bit. Yeah. Women will do anything to avoid s saying they're drunk. Mm -hmm. they, they were like, listen, I, I don't know what happened. We were on the boat. We were on the boat. And first of all, I didn't drink anything all day. I didn't drink any water all day. We were in the sun. I didn't eat anything. And then I had nine shots and... I think someone roofied me. Yeah. yeah. No, they didn't. Yeah. No, they, you got <laughs> hammered. I'm sorry. Yeah. You got hammered. Uh -huh. Like I, uh, it happens. John, I, <laughs> I drank nine vodka cranberries. I think I, you know, I think I'm, I don't remember. I'm allergic to cranberry. Right. You're not, you got drunk. Like get the, if you talk about like masculine or feminine, we could do that with a Republican or Democrat. Nice. Yep. It's like getting drunk is a masculine. Yeah. Guys are just like, Hey, what happened? Nah, I don't know. I was watching Monday Night Football. got drunk. Yeah. Nah, that was it. Yeah. It can never like, I, I've like all the days are like tequila Tuesday, wine Wednesday, thirsty third. They have, we can, men could just go out. I don't drink anymore. But we just go out like, Hey, what happened? It was Tuesday night. We went to sports bar and got drunk. 
women because of their pride or they don't what want is that. But it's a good thing. Sure. That that is a good is a good, they don't want to just I just got drunk. Men are we don't we have a little less. Why not? Why not just call it what it is? I mean, you should. You just got drunk. You got drunk. It's okay. It hey, happens. Hey. The title of the hey, Swifties went to the concert, got drunk and had a great time. <laughs> That should be the title of this article. Swifties go to show and have first seltzers. Yeah. Because <laughs> mom was with them yeah. and they bought them with the. <laughs> Swifties went to show and had their first seltzer. Comma, forgot yeah, everything. Forgot. I, w- I would say. <laughs> I love a good comma in a headline. Comma. Swifties go to first. Swifties go to show head first seltzers. Comma. Forget the whole thing. Also, I I forgot all of I forgot all of I don't know. I woke up. I like I woke up. I was at home and I remember having puke on my shirt right. and I remember being carried out in a stretcher. But I don't remember. It wasn't amnesia, Heather. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dang it, dude. It's because the other, yeah, the story of we went to the show and it was so good and so much fun yeah. that I can't even remember it yeah. is a way better way to paint that experience than we went to the show and got so drunk we don't remember the performance. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you can't say that. One of those yeah. is a little bit nicer yeah, to say. It's an easier, it's better for your, it's better for your uh, boss uh-huh. the next day. Yeah. Yeah, I have post-concert amnesia. Uh, I was blacked out. <laughs> Yo, I was blacked out. I don't, you know, I don't remember. I don't remember as a couple of times at Jason Aldean's because I was blacked out. Yeah. Because your brain. Are you sure? John, actually, you might have just been having so much fun. Oh, you know, you're right. That I was having been. a lot of fun. I was having a lot of fun. I was dancing so hard. Right. That, that your brain was like, this is such good times. You don't want to remember this. <laughs> this- <laughs> hey, this is awesome. This is going to provide you like with like, with like, um, dopamine rush right. every time you remember this for the rest of human history this is going to give you good feelings we don't want this uh-uh, we can't nah, we don't want this, this. No. when you turn to your friend nine times in yeah. seven minutes and said this is the best <laughs> night of my life your brain every time went delete delete yeah. delete yeah, yeah, yeah. delete <laughs> memories <laughs> delete <laughs> memories yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yet you remember when when the guy said no to you for prom in sixth grade for the rest of your life not sixth grade <laughs> Somebody said, somebody, you asked the homecoming and they said, no, you remember everything about that event for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. But the Taylor Swift, your brain is up there going, let's not. Scratch this. We, don't need, we this. don't need this. We're not going to need this later. Well, but because post-concert amnesia is made up. Yeah. It's made up. Everybody needs to start looking at the news like we look at the news. Right. More critically. Right. Made up. This is, yeah. There's no way this is a thing. No way. Oh, speaking of, let's talk about that thing with the, um, the, the Twitter thing. Okay. All right, Twitter. I like this a lot because this is this is kind of on the same theme, right? Yeah. How are we doing on time? Because like kind of the same theme is like things you see that are not what you see, mm-hmm. and everybody's. I would say algorithms. We've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Before the twenty twenty, what is the last election? Twenty two, twenty twenty, twenty twenty, twenty twenty. I was seeing a lot of my TikTok feed. A lot of like Joe Biden can't speak, mm-hmm. and that's not true. Right. I was my algorithm or my was feeding me stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of he can't even form a sentence. And then I watched the debate. I go, oh, yeah. Yeah. He might not be as as clear and well thought out as you would like in a presidential, but he can speak. He's not. Yeah, he's not Obama well spoken. No, but he can. He's not what what I was getting on TikTok. Right. So I think and, and and everybody kind of slowly switched to like algorithm based feeds. Yes. I think. um I guess tw- it was in real time with who you follow. That's how it started, It right? was chronological. Instagram was, Twitter was. Which one st- which switched first? I think Twitter. I, I believe Instagram did because... Switch from not in order is order of popularity that would come first. Yes. Or what? Or they would they were feeding you things that you would want to see. It was, Actually, it might have been Facebook. It, it, Facebook. Was, it was either Facebook or Instagram was the first one to go because everybody then was like, we want chronological feeds back. And that's what started that whole. I remember that. Thing. I remember that. Yeah. Cause I remember Twitter doing it and I remember Instagram doing it. Yeah. And then you can scroll your Instagram now and it's not even people you follow. 
Right. It's like, I don't even know how in there, but it's good stuff. It's good stuff to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the algorithms are smart. Yeah. The algorithms are smart. Yeah. So it's stuff that you care about and like. Yeah. And TikTok yeah. said, nah, screw you guys. We know what's best here. TikTok you just like, have all this stuff. You don't yeah, even we're know not these even, people. Here's just Yeah. A you don't even have stuff. to follow anybody. Yeah. You're just, we'll give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll let you know what you need. Just make your account. We'll take it from here. Yeah. 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 Just Sit get down. on it. Yeah. yeah. Just give us your eyes. We got you. So anyways. And to their credit. Yeah, they do got it. Hey, it's working. Yeah, they got it. Yeah. All right. Shouts out China. So <laughs> this is, uh, I don't even want to read the guy's uh, Twitter feed because he's he says a lot of like inflammatory stuff. Okay. I see this guy on my feet. Okay. Let's just stick with the headlines then and the yeah. bullet points. All right. So the Equinox is the gym. Equinox mm -hmm. is the gym in LA. I said a black, a black New York. This is what, hold on. Is she saying this? Hold on. Go, scroll up a little bit. Yeah. He, he says this. Okay. This is covered by a journalist. That's what this yeah. is. It's a tweet about uh, about an article. A black New York woman was fired from the high-end luxury gym Equinox after being late to work 47 times within 10 months. That's a lot. Yeah. All right, well, hold on. That's every day. Ten, no, that's not every day. 10 months is like 300 okay. days. And you can, I'm guessing you go back to when the person clocked in. You mm -hmm. can see Oh, see for exactly. sure. All right, so that's, so exactly. 10 months is like 300 days approximately. She oh, was yeah. late 47 times. So that's okay, like one every, once one a every week, five once a days. Yeah. yeah, once a week. Uh she then sued, alleging she was fired for being black. A Manhattan jury awarded her $11.25 million in damages last week. Okay. Wow. You, all right, wow. A lot to unpack. You see that. You see that headline, and that makes, I know what the algorithms are doing, makes you go, ah, right? Mm -hmm. This, okay, she was, she was at fault. She got fired for being at fault. She claimed racism. She got sued. Made eleven million bucks. Mm -hmm. That is what, and that's what. You, that's the kind of stuff you read on Twitter because mm -hmm. you're like, and it makes you go. Arr. It's yeah. like my. It's the. It's the. Our generation's version of our parents watching Fox News. Mm -hmm. You just go. What is this world coming? Arr, we got all right. All right. And yeah. then, community notes. Explain. Is, explain uh, what that is. Community notes. It's like I saw a guy from Barstool. Like community notes, the goat. Because you say stuff and they go. Mm, not really. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's the community of people that give you the context. It's like when we get fact checked on this show. Yeah, community notes is like fact check, yep. but it's like it's not. It's not. It doesn't lean any side. It I mean, it's better. Objective. It's not like in fa Facebook during the election. It was just wild. It's right. like, all right, this is not fact checking. This is just taking down stuff that is not on your side. Right. Okay. Community notes says. A re it's the community notes readers added context that they thought might people might want to know. So this is providing. Added context that yeah. helps you understand what actually happened in that headline yeah. with an article yes. that shows like where it's sourcing that info. Yes. From. So you read that and you go, ah, right? Yeah. And then community notes goes, huh, well, yeah. and it says, the woman never denied that she was often late for work, but her lawyers had presented evidence of many other people also having failed to show up on time with relatively, relatively few consequences. There had also been racial discrimination, which lawyers for Equinox did not dispute. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So now it makes sense why she was awarded 11 and a quarter million dollars. Right. And also, you're fighting at Equinox, Jim, and the lawyers are, I'm not, if you're in, in court for, I'll even give more, I don't know it, yeah. but you're more, you're in, you're in court for, let's say, a year. Those bills, eleven million, and you go all right, and then ta you're like all right. But on paper, at the, the top of that is so it's is I think scary. Mm -hmm. I think scary for people to go. What is the what we're losing? What is the world coming to or whatever? Mm -hmm. And then you go, oh, so coming late to work. It seems like if you, let's say you're three minutes late, right? Yep. You clock in. You're at a, you work at a fast food. I I used to work at Chick Fil A. Clock in. You you can you know when the person's late, right? And that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing because mm -hmm. everybody's late. They, Sounds like that's the culture. Not a problem. Yeah. And she's saying there also have been racial discrimination at that equinox and the lawyers did not dispute. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the racism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, racism. Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, we have that. Oh, yeah, we do that. <laughs> We got, we got an that's part of us. We yeah. got an elliptical. We got a treadmill and racism. We have that. Yeah, we have, we have that. that. Yeah, we have, yeah, we have plenty of that. Yeah. That'll be three twenty-five a month. No, please. that'll be yeah. eleven million dollars yeah. for racism. Yeah, because you can't do that. No. Yeah. Well, what I think of what I'm saying is, is you get on there and you go, uh, right? Yeah. And then they go, well, not really. I don't know too much. There's a, there's a situation with the um, um, 
uh, go to the one about uh, who was it? Who played uh, Lululemon? Mm-hmm. Just type in Lululemon uh, employee fired. I saw this on community notes. We don't have that. We don't have the community notes on the pod. Lululemon. Uh, go to the news article. Go down to the news article. That might be it. Yeah, there's a million of them. So somebody, so there's a video of somebody coming in and robbing a Lululemon, right? Mm-hmm. And they don't stop them. Okay. They just let they. Uh, oh no, the, they, I think they tried to stop them and then they got fired. Okay. The two employees that tried to stop it got fired, and they have like a no tolerance, right? Yep. No tolerance um, on merchandise. Don't like, but that's that's a very I think prevalent where you don't strike. I worked at I worked at a gas station in two thousand and three, and we didn't stop anybody. Right. You can, now you can prevent them. If they have, you do not stop, you don't run after them. Right. People would, cartons of cigarettes would be the main thing people would steal. Sure. And they would have elastic uh, sweatpants and they would put chips and stuff down in there. And do not, don't, we were taught, don't stop, don't them have it. prevent them mm-hmm. and, and lock things up and like, but put them behind cases, but don't stop them. Mm-hmm. You can confront them verbally. Mm-hmm. And that's just an example. But then, yeah, this says CEO who fired employees for confronting thieves stands by decision, saying, "quote It's only merchandise." Yeah, but the right is going. What's our world coming to? When right, when criminals can just do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. And I read the, the community notes on that was that that they um, they filmed them. They filmed that they filmed them uh, robbing the place and put it online. Uh, not so they that got they, fired for that. Yes. Got it. And I, well, I go, oh, well, all right. That like the Equinox story and this story, you go, oh, well, that's a little bit more like palatable mm-hmm. or, it, it, but they, they, they make the, they, they make the headlines in such a, ah. yeah. And the community notes goes, mm. yeah, no, no, nah. no. Nah. Hey, hey, maybe thought you'd like to know also this part. Yeah. And that's, so, and, and dude, when you're coming down like so heavily, heavy handed on like a, that's the worst. Mm-hmm. When somebody goes, mm, not really. Yeah. And you go, nah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah. Not really. I wish we I wish we had community notes on everything. Can you, imagine, can you imagine community notes on like a news broadcast? Community notes on... Uh, <laughs> like somebody just slid in. Oh, yeah. And I was like, actually, guys. Like my group text with my buddies, community yeah. notes. <laughs> we have yeah. a, we have a, like a, uh, an ongoing conversation. It's like, is a team built better in uh, through free agency or the draft? Nice. And we're always like, whenever something... On either buddy's side, they go, look, see? Yep. And then I wish there was this, like, community notes yeah. on everything. Over the last 20 years, actually, teams have successfully. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny is, like, it'd just be like a, uh, like, in a, it's now like a roast in, like, a just, like, put, like, asterisks, like, community notes. Nice. Community notes is great. I wish it was in my head when I hear community notes, it's the, like, the voice I was just doing is the voice of the little paperclip guy that used to be on Microsoft Word. Oh, what was that thing called? Do you remember him? Oh, yeah. yeah. What was his name? Uh, Clip. Was no, it? no, was it pin or something like that? He would help you. Yeah, he was like a, a little art. assistant. Yeah, that thing. What is that? That's community notes. What was his name? Clip it. Clip it. Yeah, clip. named Clippy. Yeah. And what did he do? He would help you, right? He just pop in and be like, "Hey, looks like you need help formatting this. Can I help you?" <laughs> he was like the original AI, I think. <laughs> that was pretty cool. The original AI. Yeah. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this weekend's episode brought to you this weekend. If you're listening on the weekend, yeah, you could be. This week's episode. Back again, Hanson shaving, baby. We know him. We I'm love trimmed him. up. I'm tight. I'm high and tight. Where did I go? I thought I had an appearance to do some. Oh, I was on um, Fox. I was on uh, TV. Nice. When you go on TV, yeah, you gotta you gotta shave with a razor. Gotta look not good, the dude. you gotta sh- you know, yeah. Yep. Tighten yourself up. Yeah. Oh, the pains of cheap razors, nicks, cuts, irritations. Ugh. We all got them. Mm-hmm. Nothing worse. Uh, and then the subscription razors, they come too often. They don't, they, you don't need that anymore. No. Tech focused, the mechanics of this razor, nothing better. It's science. Yeah. It's this, just science. It's, it gets this, that much this better. This razor is right and left. It's yes. for everybody. Yes. This razor is for yes. everybody. Cause I, they, they told us when about the, their, the, but the blade is that you have five, six, seven. I mean, what, what were those other blades? We're not going to mention them by name, but like in high school, was it? When they were like seven blades. Yeah, and they're like, just adding blades is yeah. not the solution. No, how about yeah. do it once and do it right? And oh, that's yeah. what Henson does. They said they describe it as they described it to us as like a diving board. Mm-hmm. Henson blades are like diving boards. The longer the board, the more wobble. The more wobble, the more nicks, cuts, and scrapes. Right. A bad shave isn't a blade problem. It's an extension problem. Mm. And they figured this out so you don't have to. Yeah. 
Just get your face trimmed up. And so basically they've crafted this razor so that it, the blade doesn't have it's room nice to do it's nice, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's held in place, so yeah. it's very firm and stiff. And it feels so good. And it just glides through. And I, right, I get it right here and right here. Yeah. I get it all It's right so here, good. I can do right I can do it like I'll shave it down, and then oh, yeah. I can even flip it and go up. And you, I, you, That's how your, good it is. Your beard is stronger than mine. You, you, but you I have really typically sensitive, can't do that. Well, I have really sensitive skin. You go down? So usually, like, any time I have to shave my neck or anything, I oh, get yeah. super razor burn. Oh, yeah, but yeah, with yeah. this one, it's really, now really it smooth. Yeah. And all the all the products everybody's putting on their faces these days to try to keep their face looking young. Yep. You know what you don't need? Seven blades running across <laughs> it. That's not even in the script, but I'm just saying. Yeah. It's time to say no to subscriptions and yes to a razor that'll last you a lifetime. A lifetime. And that razor, you, can, you lay that razor out. Yeah, you let that one. You let that one sit. You know. Yeah, you leave it on the counter so people yeah, see oh, it yeah. when they come over and they go, oh, oh, yeah. "What is that?" Oh, what? Yeah, because it is beautiful. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't put it in a in a drawer or nothing like that. No. Some of those, like the the other ones, don't. You build you, a city you, on the hill. Yeah, you, you don't put those. a candle under a basket. Nah, you let that dude, light shine. That's a Bible verse, mm -hmm. Henson. Yeah, it's time <laughs> to say no to subscriptions and yes to razor, razor that'll last a lifetime. It will. Hensonshaving.com slash net positive to pick the razor for you and the code net positive two years worth of blades free with your razor and just make sure you add them uh oh sorry just make sure to add them in your cart that's 100 f free blades when you when you head to hensonshaving.com slash net positive use the code net positive henson h-e-n-s-o-n-s-h-a-v-i-n-g Dot com, baby. Get yourself trimmed up. Yeah, and just to be clear, because we had a few fans get confused on this, you go to the website, yep. you add the product to your cart, okay. then you hit the promo code, and then it applies the discount. Oh, that's why people got a little bit confused, but like that's that. that's yeah. how that works. Hey, put that thing on your put that thing. I would put one in the guest bathroom. Oh yeah, dude. just in case someone needs to pop. Yeah. Do you have a guest room in your house? I do. So when your parents or somebody's parents come, they stay there. Yeah, like a. I don't have a wing. I have like a floor. Mine's like a tall and skinny. Mm -hmm. The first floor. And I have what I have in there. I guess I have shampoo in there. Mm -hmm. But a razor, no one, no, a hotel. You can ask for a razor. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a razor in the guest bathroom. Nice. They'll be like, dang. I like that. Guy, That's luxury, dude. That's like one of those things that are like fake, like an ice machine mm -hmm. with like my kind of ice. Yep. Because I have a Red Bull fridge. That's what I, I got. Oh, nice. I got a Red Bull fridge, just Red Bull in there. Dope. Is that a luxury item? Yeah, I think so. That's cool. Yeah, dude, somebody's going to come up with, dude, you got those razors? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you that's try it like, out? Uh, that's oh, like, yeah. what's his name? Rob Deerdeck used to have a, a new pair of briefs and a new pair of socks every day. I like that. Luxury. That's a next that's level. That's a good feel. That's the next level. We're going to get there one of these days. Someday, man. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, oh, we got to talk about what, what's the, the, uh, some good news. Yeah. Some fun news. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the flatbed truck. Mm -hmm. This is just unbelievable. Yes. All right. We I got I got sent this a bunch uh because i think i'll go back in my instagram i think i've i've made this joke before i think all right you can pause it yeah <laughs> all right the scene this is on this is going all around the news everywhere basically this hit my group a, chat it did? so quick oh yeah, yeah every guy group chat yeah so there's a flatbed there's a sh i'm just watching it <laughs> there's a flatbed tow truck sitting on the side of the interstate with the bed down mm -hmm. and everybody knows everybody has seen that before and goes I want to ramp that. Mm -hmm. Every man on earth has thought that. They've seen one of those flatbed tow trucks. Uh, what is it called? Unlo un down. Yeah. It's it's prepared to pick somebody who had a wreck. Yes. And there's a bunch of cops on the side of the interstate, and they're figuring out the flatbed tow truck. Somebody just... Just hits it at <laughs> going sixty. We've all had the thought. Oh, like, everybody has. Dude. Like I usually make a, a stupid joke. Like hold on tight. We're about, I'm about to set. Oh, this just order. wait. Like, yeah. yeah, we're gonna hit this. You know right. that button I told you to never Look push. Push it. Yeah, it's a guy. It's a guy thing. Yeah, it's a. Guy, it's same with a guy looking at uh looking at the Grand Canyon. You go, dude. If we had a motorcycle and a ramp, I bet we'd get over this thing. Yeah, it's a guy thing to think. Yeah. I don't know if women have thought that. I don't know if women have thought that. And I here's what I would think before I go, um, would the truck move? Right. Um, how far would I go? Right. Would I land on my tires? Yes. Would I live? Uh, how would the car be? Right. That's a, uh, that's if I'm driving on the interstate, I see that that's where my brain Quick analysis. Yeah, yeah, quick analysis. So this and person- And the answer has always been, I'm not actually going to send it here. No, dude, you've never no, done no. It. But there, uh, there may be like some like, 
like a fear factor, like Mr. Beast type, where somebody has, mm-hmm. where but not written. No, no, nobody in real life. No, not no, just, not, not just yeah. out in the wild. No, maybe no, no, as no, a no, stunt. No, no. Yeah, controlled it as a stunt. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, into like a bunch of like foam pit or yeah, something. Yeah, or something. Nobody's actually sent like nobody's been driving down the road and sent it, but this car does. <laughs> I don't know where this is. Dramatic body camera footage shows a car speeding down. A Georgia highway. All right, hey, let's go, baby. You sure it wasn't you? Catching a tow truck ramp and flying about 120 feet through the air. All right, so immediately, okay. So immediately. <laughs> Just some good old boys. Uh, uh, yeah, read some of those comments. <laughs> it pains me to see others living out my dreams. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Uh, the intrusive thoughts won. <laughs> the Grand Theft Auto. Oh, sorry, the yeah. GTA intrusive thoughts won. Let's go, exactly. Dukes of Hazards. Oh, yeah. My thoughts went to Gone in 60 Seconds. Yeah. Just, there it is. Just the good, good old, old boys. boys. Never mean it. No. No. Is that from Dukes of Hazzard? That's the theme song. Oh, yeah. yeah. Usually, they would, like the intro would be they hit the jump and it yeah. would pause. Oh, and yeah. And then they would play oh, yeah. the song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time I see a flatbed and it's the only thing playing in my mind, what if, nah. And I know it's not. The, I'm not the only one. Everybody's yes. thought this. That went everywhere on the internet. Bro and thought it, he was playing Crazy Taxi. All right, so the... Uh, <laughs> The other cops casually watching it fly, dude. I refuse to believe bro didn't do that on purpose. (laughs) All right. All right. I mean, no, there's no way you would have driven down the interstate this way, gotten off the exit and come back. (laughs) Like you were like, now's my chance. There's no way. There's no way. I can't believe he clears the cab. He flies over. All right. So he hits the... uh, there's the there's the top right there's the top on the on the flatbed. Where That's what I'm a, saying. I can't believe he clears that. Oh yeah, because it looks like he would just hit it and go directly into the. He cleared it, but yeah, he, he gets over it. it. I mean, and the and the and the uh, the flatbed stayed there. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's probably ruined, and he probably went. That guy was standing right there. Right, he went 70 feet and he flipped. I think he landed on his side. Mm-hmm. Went on his back and he sur- he survived. The guys, yeah, the guys okay by the way, injured but okay. Man, his car is... Yeah, is that his car right there? Yeah. Legend, bro. Wild, dude. That is... I mean, I, I've always wanted to do that. I mean, imagine this is you and like Ooh. you recover now and you get to read all these comments and be like, yeah, well... Unfortunately, that's, that's why that's why that. wild <laughs> stuff exists in this country is because of the internet. Yeah. Great read all around. How's it going? I love that guy. Yeah. Good for him. Oh, no. What, what else what, we got here? What do you want to talk... Oh, oh, let's get to the, uh, uh, the Chick-fil-A thing. We'll end it on this. Okay, cool. This is, uh, this is unbelievable. We we got We should have said this at the beginning. We had, we we fact checked ourselves. We haven't fact checked ourselves. We what did we say last week? Community notes ourselves. So Chick Fil A hired a diversity. Yeah, this is community notes. Mm-hmm. This is Chick Fil A hired a diversity coordinator, and everybody was in my Twitter going, "I'm quitting Chick Fil A. You're not. I'm I'm gonna go on the way home. I'm gonna go Chick Fil A after this, just to make it right, just to support them. Sure. Yeah. So they they hired a inclusion. Uh, whatever officer or something like that, and everyone's mm-hmm. like Chick Fil A bowing to the woke mob. Okay, I go first of all, chill out. Right. What did I say? What did I say? I go Chick Fil A is a business. Yeah. Remember that? Yes. I said Chick Fil A, they are whatever you're making them out to be. Chick Fil A is trying to make money. Yeah, and they are as much as they can. I believe they are a Christian. Sure. Or that that's it was founded on Christian some principles. People, Let's yeah, say some that people there are. Yeah. It was founded on Christian principles, and it does have. A little bit more of a what is what is the uh, uh, stereotype over there that they'll help you with your they'll help you if you're like delivering a baby they'll they're they're like very they'll choke that guy out in the parking lot who was yeah, trying to yeah, kidnap yeah. that kid or whatever they're that was, very so. they're very friendly people very like if you you know complain about something they'll give you some free coupons they always want to make it right by their customers right. very um, they have a um, a culture yeah over there mm-hmm. okay so we said that we go hey. Chick fil A, we they hired a community. I go, it's probably not as big as deal as you think, is what I said, right? right? Okay, we got an email. Yeah. My husband and I own and operate a Chick fil A. So consider me an expert here on the pot. Here we go. Yeah, we will. We here will. We go. You know what? We will. Perfect. Because you own one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Your entire take, every word on Chick fil A DEA hire, dot, 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 four, I believe I see there. Absolutely spot on. Every word. The VP. Of uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Equity inclusion that this is all about was hired into that role three years ago. Oh, ah, community notes, ha. Huh. <laughs> so Twitter hate. So Twitter hate is late per usual. He's been with Chick Fil A for years. His role has just changed. I happen to know him, and he. <laughs> I happen to know him, 
and know he loves your comedy. <laughs> Dude, he knows your comedy. He's one of us, which, which, no need to say anymore. Uh huh. Okay. Completely stand up, solid guy, not woke. No, I don't like that term, but like, not, not what you're, not what everybody thinks. Yeah. Chick fil A would be stupid to not have people with eyes on this stuff. Uh, solid take. You're out here doing the Lord's work in all caps. Keep it up. Okay. Okay. And you idiot, you idiot on Twitter, be like, I'm never, I'm never eating a Chick-fil-A again. You're, n- you're not, you're, n- that's not true. Even if I like, I would, I don't, I, I don't even drink. Mm-hmm. I haven't drank. I've, I'm about to be three and a half years sober. I wouldn't even say I've never drank Bud Light again. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. <laughs> you're like, there's a chance. I just would don't, <laughs> don't say like, like I think with every with everything that like has happened in my like personal life over the past, like I like don't don't just don't come out so strongly against like it, it, there's a lot going on that you don't know about. Yeah, you're, if you're speaking in absolutes without having all the you're facts. done. You're yeah. done. If you're getting on, if you're speaking, of, this is how it goes, and you, then you can't go like, oh, maybe not, because yeah. you came out. I remember when we were coming back to do stand up and with all those venues, and it was during. Um, it was during um, when you had uh, vaccines Mm -hmm. and they were like, I wanted to come out and I remember this. I would go, I want to come out on my social media and go, Hey, we will not perform in any place that's mandatory vaccine. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't just ethically, I didn't think I believed in you have to force people to, if this is a comedy show, right now, the grocery store and the hospital, and that's different, but this is a voluntary, you can't, you can't make someone, to have a medical procedure to come that that seemed like too much for me yeah everybody's different mm-hmm. for me and i wanted to make that stance and i remember my agents being like hey like have that stance but like just don't come don't come so strongly with it yeah because then what if in two years everything's vaccine everything where yeah. are you gonna go then yeah where are you gonna go yeah and then, and why come down, like things played themselves out as to what they was like, right. oh yeah, I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. You didn't know where it was going. Nobody I didn't know. And going. nobody did. Yeah. But you're like, this is the way, you're like I had, everybody has their own opinions. Sure. Mm-hmm. But you'd be like, this is the way, like, I'm, I was like, if you say I'm never, you see that article, Chick-fil-A hires diversity, equity, and inclusion. I'm never, y- 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 your, your brain is small. Yeah. I'll come down hard on that. I would your brain is that. small. Yeah. Your brain is small. Open it up. Yeah. Ask more questions. And she said, Find and go, more info. Yeah. Get community notes yourself. Yes. Look around in there. Yes. And if you do all the research, it's like, that's what it's like. If, if Joe Biden gets elected, I'm moving to Canada. Do it. Do it. Do it. Dude. Please. Do all the, all the protesting and just stick to it, please. That was, uh, when Trump got elected, everybody stick was to moving it. and it was like, okay, well, go, go, go ahead and move then. If you're going to sit down, I don't think I've come down to, and now there's things that I don't prefer over other things but yeah. i said that about quiznos the other day but okay. if there was it was in the airport you kind of went hard on quiznos i they deserved sure but if there was nothing <laughs> else in the airport and yeah. there was a quiznos i would eat there mm-hmm. come on dude but the absolute statements are so yeah it feel they feel so good don't yeah. they so this guy's been there for three years yeah and also and nothing no and one also, has noticed anything different th- no th- and chick-fil-a could could use some more inclusivity yeah like and maybe and maybe he's just saying like hey we got to figure out a way to market our product to other, other types of people yeah. yes yeah what well, you he may also get in there and he or he may have when he came in he may have gotten in there and been like you know what we're actually doing a pretty good job yeah let's keep it up and like who com- knows there's companies with five employees that have a, a dei person for sure <laughs> did, did, you know how big that place is yeah there's somebody that's in charge of diversity inclusivity and what is it equity and inclusion Some, equity yeah. and inclusivity but that's like a, a word that's like ah, yeah. like like do you you should John Chris comedy is three weeks away from hiring that person. <laughs> Not really, but like, congrats, dude. That's no, awesome. we, but we've, but we've, uh, I'll say we've, we've had the conversations. Yeah. Amongst my management. Yep. About those topics. Yes. Gosh, but to get, to be, and that's, I think that's, what's important is like, they're just conversations and, yeah. and they should be had. And, and if they turn over stones that are like, Oh, we should fix some things. Then fix those things. And if, yeah, it but did, you have to have somebody there to you, start those the, conversations. The re- look up Chick Fil A's. Look up Chick Fil A's annual revenue. Oh gosh, watch this. 
I mean, it's got to be ten. Yeah, take a guess. I, I'm gonna go ten billion. Ten billion? Yeah, ten billion. No, five. I I was gonna say seven. I think because I the only context I have for this is I think McDonald's made nineteen. Okay. Billion. Six point six point four. Gosh, uh, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. Listen to us. We're right on everything. <laughs> <laughs> we're right on everything. No, we've been we've been way Even actually. The community notes no, we've been right. we've been way wrong on some things For on this podcast. Sure. But the, I, I I guessed around that. Yeah, yeah. Six point four billion in twenty twenty two compared to five point eight billion in twenty twenty one. An hey. increase of just over ten percent. Okay. All right. And what and and the let's just say uh, the an inclusivity coordinator mm -hmm. works at corporate. How much you want to put that guy at? One hundred twenty thousand. 80,000? No, I'd give, I'd give him probably 150. 150. He makes 150. At least at a place okay. that big, yeah. You're right. Drop in the bucket. What? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What? And I'm the, I, I, yeah, what? What? Re, you, did she have the follow-up email? Yeah, she that? sent another follow-up. And she followed up. She was so passionate. We're not going to give this away to the lady's name because we love her. Yeah. Okay. We she's do emailed us. in. We do she's emailed in a couple other times too. She's always got good stuff. So thank oh, you. Oh, oh, I like. Okay, all right. This is kind of what, what I've kind of said. This. Yeah, go ahead. I hate myself for the follow up email. But you should, you should, fair. Sure. Follow yep. up email. Absolutely. Can't make a, can't make that move. Yep. We're gonna forgive her because mm -hmm. her first one was so solid. Yep. Uh, scroll to the left. I can't really read it. Uh, I know it's small. I'm trying to show you. As oh yeah. I'll oh, move yeah. it as you go. Go the ahead. The far right conservative church has done to Chick Fil A what the church did to you, John. That's gonna make me cry. Mm. They made you their, quote, church comedian, and so then they held you to the standard that isn't your gig or your idea. You did not set out to be that, but then we were held to that, and they decided, but we held you to that, and they decided you were that. You're on their team. You're not what they, decide, uh, you're not what they decided you are. Chick-fil-A was founded on biblical principles. We are on the team. We are largely Jesus people. And we are not a youth group. Mm -hmm. Is exactly what I said last week. Yes. I go, they're for money. Yeah. They want to, they want to do good by. I'm not going to rob you in the parking lot, right. but we're for money. Yeah. The goal is do good. The goal is make a lot of money in business. Yeah. We're also going to try to stick to our morals and values yeah. on that road. We're not a youth group. Right. We're not a youth group. We are a business and we follow the same employment laws as the rest of America. So we are not a youth group or a church. The itty bitty far right conservative missionary Baptist church thinks we are them, thinks we represent them. We are not, and we do not. Period. She's passionate on this. I love this. I agree. When John said they are not as much, they are not on your team as much as you think they are. We all started clapping. <laughs> Were they listening in the restaurant? Yeah, I love they're to listening think that they're at, listening. at corporate. That's awesome. My family. We, yeah, she said. Listen, she goes. We are conservative. Jesus. Okay. All right. I'm not going <laughs> to read that. Jesus loving people. Yeah. She, yeah. We are. Okay. <laughs> That's between us and you. Yeah. <laughs> we are on the team. And you're taking a spot on. Also, my cleaning lady, Flex, showed up and talking about how our pastor said to boycott Chick-fil-A, Missionary Baptist, and she said Chick-fil-A. She had Chick-fil-A for breakfast. These people are all talk. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever the title of the podcast is, it's this. Yeah. It's, it, it's, well, we've kind of been talking about the same thing all day. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, the, you want, yeah, I guess you want, you want them to be... Uh, but that's every that's every like artist, right? Mm -hmm. And then they go, oh, he made a oh what? Yeah. Oh, oh, or, or like, you know, somebody in the NBA has a uh, uh, is, is with a prostitute mm -hmm. or uh, embezzles money or cheats on his girlfriend. Better, you're yeah. like, oh, I thought. You're like, why? Well, we and we talked about this long ago when we were talking about cancel culture, and I made the claim that I think Christians invented it. Yeah, and it was this type of example that oh, I yeah. that like I wish I had this example at the time because yeah. I got way too much heat for it because yeah. I didn't yeah, have yeah, any good yeah, examples. Yeah, but like as Christians, Gosh. I think a lot of us latch on to things yeah. and go, "Oh, that's Christian," because we feel He's sometimes underserved in yeah. mass media because yeah. we're not get. There's not a lot of Christian representation yep. there, yep. and so we see Chick Fil A and we go, oh, "We've that's done ours. it. We've done it with everybody." But we do it. the moment they slip, we're so yeah. quick to go get out. We're not even slip. Do something that we might not agree. You're with looking completely. at him. You're looking at him. And they go, he what? He's he's who 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 made him that? Right. Who now? Chick Fil A. They they say we are Christian. I I am a and they she owns one. Mm -hmm. But the, we if I don't care how Christian are if you're if you're not if you're not 
I'm getting, I'm trying to get the calculator here. Mm -hmm. If you're not, yeah, your, your, your store's closed. Mm -hmm. Your store's closed. Yeah. They will close your store. You can be feeding all the homeless people. You could be uh, doing a charity book drive. You could have the Bible study. I've seen, I've gone into Chick-fil-A and they have like people with Bibles open on Wednesday morning, a group of guys yes. or group of, like do like, love great. It. Yeah, we love awesome. it. We yeah. love it. But you also know what you're also doing? Buying breakfast. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't buy breakfast in here, we would kick you out. Yeah, I don't think Chick Fil A would be psyched if they just had a bunch of people sitting at tables doing Bible studies. They would but be the opposite of psyched. Anything. They would be the opposite of psyched. Yeah, yeah. So you come down on Chick Fil A for, because they didn't. You're like, well, when when did they say they did? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I said they were, mm -hmm. and that's basically what she's saying. Yeah. And the, gosh, it's such a. That's that might be a top ten email for us. Great. That's a great email. Both of them back to back. Yeah. And she's she was, she's she's like I'll, I'll I'll put my name on it. Mm -hmm. We didn't read it, but good for her, man. Yeah. Gosh, that's so. It's yeah. It's every oh a politician. I thought he was with us, mm -hmm. and then he votes. Yeah, I'm not going to get anything done here in Congress if I don't give a little bit of a nod to the other side, so we can. And he and that doesn't make him not with you anymore. No, it doesn't make him not with you anymore. And yeah. you want people to be. Everybody's on your team or against your team. Yeah, it's a shame. Hold, really, hold others to the same standards that you'd like to be able. I to. think. I, yeah, I think. I, and, and me too. Me too. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I, I, uh, I don't really believe that. I, I used to believe that. I don't anymore. Mm -hmm. Or I didn't used to believe that. I do now. Mm -hmm. You. Everybody's progressing and developed. To say, like I, I think it was a Babylon B article or something like that. You're like. A uh, conservative boycott. Now he's just alone in a cave. <laughs> like in he, <laughs> he every, ran out of things. Yeah, he ran out of things. <laughs> yeah, because it feels like I feel like I, we were at the uh, the Folds of Honor uh, softball game last night in Nashville, and the, the dugouts full of coolers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Bud Light, they had Bud Light, mm -hmm. and the cooler was full. Mm -hmm. And it was, I go, I was so funny because it's like, we're all partying. It's like a battle of like, like Republicanism versus alcoholism. Yeah. And it's like, which one? You're like, <laughs> after like, you're like, how long am I going to, like, if there's a bunch of beer, yeah. you go, oh. And if there's the Miller light and there's a Coors light, you go, all right, I can. But if I just imagine like, uh, like a, a gay, like a gay, like a, uh, let's say a couple that is like, uh, like for Pride Month and like a, and like a, uh, the opposite of that uncle on the beach. Mm -hmm. And there's like, he's so hot. Yeah. He's, so, and he's like, man, he used to love Bud Light also. Right. Every year he would come to the beach with the cooler of Bud Light. Yep. And now his, the, the, maybe say there's a gay couple next to them and they're like, hey, you want a Bud Light? <sighs> It's like how it's, it's like a war of attrition. Yeah. It's like how long can you like can you like go yeah. without like you're like all right, give yeah, me the Bud Light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there. So, but it's funny because it, I would consider the event last night if it had to choose a side to be Republican, mm -hmm. it's more uh, uh, pro military, which is it, but not it's not even pro, but it was a very. Uh, uh, community events supporting a lot of different uh and it was it, there so but they had the 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 organization that put on the event was has a distributor license with Budweiser. Mm -hmm. So it it by contract mm -hmm. has to be there. Right. So now you can choose to not drink it, but yep. they they can't not serve it. Right. They the event is being made possible by Budweiser. Yes, yes. Yeah. So so you go, wait, I can't believe that they would have, but like, well, th there's their community notes it mm -hmm. there. They, they have a contract yeah. in play. You can choose now you can open it up and pour it out or something, Sure, but you have to have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cause the, I go, and I'm sure part of that contract is also Bud Budweiser donating money to, to the, the thing that like, I'm there he, for. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're all trying to do the same thing. Here. Yeah. So you go, I can't believe they would have, are like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's just, it just does. When back to Andrew's content, we're like, what would, how would you feel if you didn't have a podcast? That this, I, gosh, it, it just puts everything into like, I can handle that. Mm -hmm. And I hope that, I hope we do that for everybody else. Yeah. I mean, uh, we got to hire, a, we got to hire the John Chris comedy. The, I wonder if they, they have a inclusion coordinator. 
they worked for us. What do you would say? Uh, yeah, what do you think like day I mean, one changes would be? I, w- I would say there's a lot of uh, white Republicans at my show. Yep. You came to saw it. Saw that firsthand? <laughs> Your audience is fun, man. Yeah. By the way, to all I the people it. who came up and said what's up after the show, I appreciate you. That was really oh, did fun. They? That was cool. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. I should have said something on stage you were there. That, that was cool. That yeah. was really fun. The yeah. uh, I thought the other funny thing there was like. Hey, 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 dude. A little what? bit of a tire pump in the lobby oh, out there. Oh, dude. Are you oh, kidding yeah. me? Because, all right, hold on. You think I drove three uh, hours just to have a weekend away with my wife? Okay. I said, I go, we get done with the show. And if there's ever like you know, my, a family member or so-and-so, I go, hey, that we have probably, um, ver- that's freaking hilarious. We have, <laughs> I would say, 15 minutes until they organize the meet and greet. Mm-hmm. So there's a, there's 100 people that come to the meet and greet. They got to kind of clear the venue out, organize them, get them in a line. Then I come out and then we do the meet and greet. Yep. So I go, Alex, where are you at? Yeah. And he goes, "Uh, well, I'm in the lobby. I go, what do you mean you're in the lobby? Yeah. He's like, well, Maggie's going to the bathroom. I go, what? what? There's a bathroom it's back here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had no idea. I had no idea where anybody was. That was part of it. And oh, the other yeah, part yeah. was like, yeah, let me go up front and see what's yeah, going on. Yeah, should, dude. I want to yeah. see the people a little bit. Nobody, ain't nobody hate on that. Uh, I should have mentioned you were there. My a bad. Couple, a couple observations, though, about that. Yeah. So, first of all, uh, your sister's great. Yeah. Bumped yeah, into her. She's there. awesome. Yeah, Good to see her. She's the best. Uh, second of all, if you're wearing all black, yeah. you can just walk backstage. Anywhere. Oh, yeah. Were you? Anywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a little bit of a lanyard. A little bit of a lanyard. Had the lanyard. Go wherever you want. But then, like, black tee, black jeans. They'll let you go wherever you need to go. Oh, yeah. I yeah. just, when we came back to the meet and greet, we just walked right yeah. back. Don't say that on the, on my podcast. <laughs> 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 or, or maybe in addition oh, to yeah. hiring for DEI, you can oh, yeah, hire some yeah, security. security. <laughs> yeah, I get next weekend there. I was like, who's all these people in the meet and greet? They're all wearing black. Oh, freaking <laughs> what a goth comic show this is. What is this thing? Dude? That's funny. Wait, I think I got, I think I got an email that was uh, similar to that. It was, um, dude. It was awesome though seeing all those people. It's fun. Yeah, um, right. I thought the guy next to us was watching, uh, was watching baseball though on his phone. Oh, yeah. During the show. That's what somebody, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what Maggie was telling Yeah, you go for it, dude. Yeah. You're good with that. Hilarious. It's been a good game. Yeah. This said, uh, this is the same show you were at. Yeah. You might have seen this guy. We went to your show last night in Louisville and loved it. What really made me laugh, though, was we were leaving, and there was a former Louisville basketball player who played on the two thir- 2013 national championship team. Shout out. Cool. Whoever's at the show. Very recognizable. Oh. Standing at one of the exits. Not sure what he was waiting on. But I started to wonder what percent of a tire pump he was needed by standing there and everyone would notice him. Mm. 2013? I wonder who was That's on that That's 10 team. years. Very recognizable, she says. We need to fact check who this guy is. 2013. Because Louisville basketball is huge. Louisville basketball I think it was the Rick Patino days. I could be wrong. Was that? Yeah, that was the Kevin Ware year. When, when he, when he broke his, his leg? leg? Yeah. That was 10 years ago? Wow. Yeah, I will. All right, I don't. I will never forget that. No, nobody will. Was it him? I wasn't having a good enough time to forget it. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, Kevin was though. Great joke. <laughs> All right, who's who is gonna be? Uh, Tim Henderson, Christian Academy, could have been him. Oh sure. Uh, Yo, you're going by high school. <laughs> no, I'm going by I'm going by high school and and name. Uh, so Gorgul Dang, from uh. Uh, that he's that's African. He it's not him. Okay, I would say uh, Peyton Silva from Seattle. It was not him. Russ Smith from Brooklyn. It was not him, right? Mm-hmm. Indy, uh, someone from Louisville, Tim Henderson, because those guys are from Louisville. They still live in Louisville. Good call. It'd be two Tim Henderson, Zach Prince, Zach Price, Zach Price, or Michael Balfour. Yeah, neither none Something. of those. It looks like none of those guys got drafted. Yeah. So maybe they're just very recognized in, uh, in locally in Louisville. Yeah. yeah. Respect. Dude. Come out to show, dude. We love them. That's dope. I love that. Good for that, dude. Good for that. That's them. cool. Hey, and and tire pumps. There's people come to my, my the shows wearing uh, shirts, all kind of attention seeking things. I'm for it. There was a great uh, camo jacket that I saw, saw somebody that. wore. That great. was, really, that was like, an a awesome custom look. camo oh, yeah, jacket. She came back to the mean green. She had dope. that mean green for a while. Love yeah. that. Someone came to the show in. Um, She's sitting in the front row. Two girls in the front row come to the show the night before, the day after in Washington, D.C. Yeah. With two, had these white shirts on that said, show me your kitties. Spell kitties. K-I-T-T-I-E-S. Okay. And there's two pictures of cats on the front of their shirts. And I, a lot of people wear, um, 
like shirts of jokes of mine mm -hmm. to the show. Right. And I see them in the front row and I'm, I'm, I'm busy. Yeah. I'm, yeah. yeah. To say I'm the, the yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing the thing now. Yeah. And I was like, but I was like, <laughs> I think that says I, but I can't, but that's not one of my jokes. Right. And I was like, why? That doesn't make any sense. When there's another girl wearing a, uh, Chris, John Wait, Chris. did you get to ask them about it? So at the, at the, that when we all come on stage together at the end, Derek is like, I can't resist this anymore. Yeah. What's going on with the shirts? Yeah. And they go, we just came from a cat convention. <laughs> I go, all right, dude, you got to say that. Oh, you, what? Or change. Or I, no, I said, I said, it's cool that they, they could come to the show and they, they didn't feel any no, type of way about Good that. Good for them. Go, yeah. oh, and they were great. But also definitely confusing to everybody also else confusing. that isn't you. Confusing. Yeah. There I go. Oh, this also, is a cat convention? Shh, did we not get to talk about that? Oh, no. Derek got him. Derek got him. Okay. Good. Derek covered it. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I could smell the. He said I could smell the urine from here or something like that. Something brutal. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. The, they, uh, I love when you all get together at the end and the just kind of chat. Yeah. Well, cool. we kind of bring the lights up and we kind of look around at everybody in there. And yeah. I, I kind of talk to people during the show. So we kind of revisit all that. Yeah. It's the best. That's man. fun, man. Yeah. Come out to some shows. We're back on the road uh, this weekend. If they're listening to the beginning of the podcast, there's no people that came in in the middle. Probably not. Yeah, if they heard the, the tour dates at the beginning, they don't need them again. Yeah, let's not waste their time. Yeah, let's not waste their time. You already know. Rewind if you forgot. Hey, re go back, go back and, and go back to last week. Mm -hmm. L listen, is the Chick-fil-A thing in the, in the timestamp? It's Andrew? probably not. But yeah, it's, it in the, it's in the, was it in the emails? It's in the news. It's listen the to that. If you have extra time, we're going to say we're not going to read the tour dates. Go back, listen to that, and listen, to, and you'll be... You'll be uh, um, intellectually advanced. Yes. That's the net positive. Nice. See you next week. I mean, yeah, sure, it was a little weird, but on the net, net on the, on the, it, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. Dude, you cannot be serious. On the net, it's a positive.